back to this now. Workers at the Steve Chueta local municipality are being updated on an overnight wage agreement. The municipality had fired 400 employees earlier on this month, accusing them of taking part in an illegal strike. Now, the employees were demanding the salary adjustments there. And our reporter, Linda Gulhikulu, is in Middleburg and joins us now uh, for this conversation. Linda, good to have you and good morning to you, colleague. I mean, what I can see now, I'm not sure perhaps you can confirm, is uh, what seems like, you know, some perhaps of the employees just outside there singing, chanting, uh, and it's because, I suppose, of the of 400 fired employees, but also understand, uh, you know, what they're demanding, implementation of that adjustment to their salaries across the board. What can you tell us at this stage? Well, Latumel, I can tell you that what was meant to be a total shutdown has since been averted by the municipality because there's been an agreement between workers as well as, municip as, as well as the municipality in terms of some of their demands. They have been in strike for about nine weeks, so over a little uh, uh, two months, uh, I can tell you that the workers have been out, uh, they have not been going to work. They have been demand uh, demanding that uh, uh, the pay uh, grades be adjusted because of the benchmarking of uh, the municipal workers. And uh, finally, it does seem that they have achieved something because that agreement was signed overnight just before they could commence with the escalation of their strike, and uh, which was going to be a total shutdown of the economic activities in this uh, particular uh, municipality that is Street Theater. But let's bring in one of the representatives uh, from the workers, Dade Hosi Makwati. Thank you so much, Mzonisha, for joining us. Uh, first of all, just give us a sense of what was supposed to happen. We're seeing uh, many workers just behind you, but give us a sense of of the total shutdown, what was the intention, uh, what was supposed to happen in, uh, if there was no agreement that was reached? Now, thank you. Um, today we were supposed to shut, shut down all economic activities. Uh, the only activity that was, we are going to allow was schooling. Everything else will have been shut down. We had support from community structures, from pastors, uh, from taxi associations from uh, the ANC Women's League and from other uh, community formations. Uh, just uh, give us a sense, then it's been two months, I think, that you haven't been at work. Uh, that was deemed as an unprotected strike. Uh, but tell us what is it exactly that workers were demanding and tell us about the agreement that has since been reached overnight. Um, the strike has been unprotected, yes, um, but we're desperate. And we knew that there were elections coming and, and the municipality was vulnerable. So we took that, we seized that opportunity. Uh, we embarked on that strike, unprotected as it was, uh, because the issue of grading has been on the agenda for more than 10 years with the municipality. Uh, we were on strike before, for two ties before, and uh, nothing happened. Uh, the strike was averted, promises were made, but nothing happened. So this time the workers were adamant that they were not going back to work without a solid agreement. And the, the agreement uh, in essence says that uh, will be created according to um, 21st century report. Um, we'll get uh, 24 months back pay. We're supposed to get 36. We compromised because we're not at work for two months. Uh, and then it, the payment will be staggered over a three months period. Thank you so much, Mr. Nisha, for that update. Uh, one of the workers here at Dumelo, municipal workers at the Street at the municipality, just t telling us that there was an agreement that was reached, but today was supposed to be a total shutdown. They've since been able to reinstate those plus minus 400 workers that were dismissed last Friday, but also they are saying that they have reached an agreement in terms of their initial uh, reason to protest, which was the grading of salaries that we understand will have a back pay as well as a phasing in of that particular benchmarking as far as pay grades are concerned in the Steve Suarte municipality. All right, we'll leave it there for now. And as soon as other developments do occur, we'll be sure uh, to catch up with you right here on uh, ENCA. That's my colleague, Linda Gulhekulu, following up the developments at the Steve Sweater local municipality. Of course, that uh, negotiation between uh, employees as well as the uh, employers, uh, of course, having deadlocked after 400 employers were fired due to an unprotected strike. Well,